Okay, let's talk about rates. A rate is a comparison between two things that are measured in different units. So let me give you an example of some rates. Maybe I ran um, four kilometers in 20 minutes. That would be a rate. Or maybe, um, here's another rate. Uh, there are 12 baskets per 22 seconds. Say it's in a basketball thing. Somebody's shooting 12 baskets per 22 seconds. Those are rates because we have two different units. We've got kilometers and minutes and here we have the number of baskets in the number of seconds. Now sometimes we'll compare things when the second term is one, so unit rates. Often speed is measured in a unit rate. So maybe you're driving down the road and you are doing 80 kilometers per hour. And really we mean then per one hour, 80 kilometers per one hour. Or maybe you're doing push-ups and you can do 50 push-ups per minute, per one minute. 50 push-ups per one minute. So these would be unit rates because the second term is one. So we're going to look at a few questions then on how we can use rates and unit rates to help us with some problems. Often this is useful when you want to compare things. So which is the better buy? 3.8 liters of juice for $3.25 or 2.2 liters of juice for $1.99. So we could set these up as rates. $3.25 per 3.8 liters. And another one here is $1.99 per 2.2 liters. So rates. But it's hard to compare to see which one is cheaper um, because they're not expressed as a unit rate. So if instead of comparing this per 3.8 liters, why don't we figure out how much it is for one liter and do the same thing over here and then we can see easily which one is the cheapest. Okay, so we got the calculator out here and what we're going to need to do, so in order to get this down to one liter, I got 3.8, I need to divide this by 3.8, because 3.8 divided by 3.8 would be 1. But then I would also have to divide the numerator by 3.8. So, we would have 3.25 divided by 3.8. So this would be 0.855, I'll round that to the second decimal, 0.86. So I have 0.86 dollars, or in other words, 86 cents per liter. Let's check out the other one here. So on this one, I'm going to have to divide by 2.2 to get the denominator into down to 1. 2.2 divided by 2.2 would be 1. So $1.99 divided by 2.2 is 90 cents. So we can see that this is the best buy because it is, um, it's cheaper, 86 cents versus 90 cents. But we had to get them down to uh, unit rates so that we could compare them. How about another one here? There's a black car and it traveled 325 kilometers on 35 liters of fuel and a red car traveled 121 kilometers and it used 12 liters of fuel. We want to figure out which one uh, got the better fuel economy. So we can set our rates up. What, whoop. One car went 325 kilometers per 35 liters of fuel and the other car went 121 kilometers on 12 liters of fuel. And so same thing, if we divide this one by 35 to get how many kilometers for one liter, so 
so 9 point, let's go to one decimal here, 9.3. So this particular car, this would be the black car. The black car was, was getting 9.3 kilometers for one liter of fuel. This one, we'll divide by 12. And we get 10, 10.1. 10.1 kilometers per one liter of fuel. So the red car, the red car is the better fuel economy because it travels a farther distance per one liter of fuel. So you got to look at the, you got to look at the question like this one back up here. Here we were looking for the smaller number because this was money and obviously you want to spend less money per liter of juice so this would be the best best deal but when you're driving the car uh, if you're putting a liter of fuel in the car you want to go as many kilometers as you can so here we're looking for the biggest number this would be the the most fuel efficient vehicle all right we'll look at one last example here one store sold a 24 foot roll of carpet for 350 dollars and another store sold a five meter roll of carpet for 195. Which store again? We're just kind of sticking with the same thing here. What's the better deal? So $350 for 24 feet. And the other one is $195 for five meters. So the problem with this one is these these uh, second units down here are different. So I can't just go divide by 24, divide by 24, divide by 5, divide by 5 over here, because this would be how much money per foot, and this would be how much money per meter. And we're kind of still, we got different units down here. We still can't compare them. So we're going to have to get these units uh, the same. And so we're just estimating this anyway, but there's approximately 3 feet in 1 meter. It's slightly more than three feet, but let's let's keep it simple. There is about three feet for one meter. So every meter is three feet. So if I have five meters, well, then I have 15 feet. If I times this by five, I have to times this by five. So before I compare my ratios, I'm gonna convert five meters to 15 feet. And now I can get a unit rate. So I'll divide by 24, divide by 24 to figure out how much it costs a foot. You could also convert it to meters, but it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get them the same. So 350 divided by 24 means this is $14.58. And per foot. And this one I'm going to divide by 15. So 195 divided by 15 is $13 even. $13 a foot. So this store here had the better deal. The store that uh, was selling it or advertising it for for $195 per meter. So those are um, some questions involving uh, comparing and interpreting these different rates.